in my years of experience and countless interactions, I've stumbled upon a few sales tactics so profound that it transformed my entire approach. These tactics wasn't something I learned from a book or seminar. It was an experiment that became a cornerstone of my success. It's a strategy I call tiger targets, and it's about building trust with your customers, a fundamental principle that will be included in my forthcoming book, 21 Commandments of Influence. The experiment. It all began at Bally Total Fitness, where I was selling supplements. We had a successful launch of a new challenge, attracting 100 new customers. During our nutrition orientations, we set up meal plans and recommended products. On one occasion, I ran out of a key product called Myoplex. As the day went on, customers who had heard about this product from their friends came in, only to find it unavailable. Rather than skirting around the issue, I did something unconventional. I told them, you can get this product cheaper down the street at Costco. It's not as good as ours, but it'll get the job done. To my surprise, this honesty didn't lose me a sale. Instead, it built trust. Customers bought the other products I recommended and sales skyrocketed. This was a revelation. By recommending an alternative, I demonstrated that I was genuinely interested in their well-being, not just making a sale. Number one, prioritizing customer needs. When customers expressed budget concerns, I didn't shy away. Instead, I offered to prioritize the products based on importance. This transparent approach made them feel respected and valued, turning potential objections into opportunities for building trust. Number two, empathy and understanding. Empathy is the cornerstone of this tactic. By showing genuine concern for the customer's needs and constraints, you move from being a salesperson to a trusted advisor. This shift is crucial. When you recommend external resources or cheaper alternatives, you position yourself on their side, enhancing rapport and loyalty. Number three, leveraging low margin products. Use low margin products as your ghost products. These are the items you recommend customers buy elsewhere. This strategy preserves your high margin products for in-store sales, maintaining profitability while building trust. Congratulations, you're halfway through the video. I have a free secret gift on influence for you. Simply go to tigertoledo.com forward slash secret. Number four, continuous improvement. Sales, like any skill, requires continuous practice. I recommend gaining experience in environments with high transaction volumes, such as car washes or nail salons. These settings provide ample opportunities to refine your skills and understand customer behavior. Hmm. Number five, ethical persuasion. The line between manipulation and helping lies in intent. If you genuinely aim to help your customers, your actions are ethical and build trust. Always act in the customer's best interest, reinforcing your role as a trusted advisor. In conclusion, by incorporating these strategies into your sales process, you create a more effective, trustworthy, and customer-centric approach. The goal is to help your customers envision a better version of themselves with your product, making the decision to buy an obvious and compelling step toward their desired transformation. Remember, the art of sales is not just about closing deals. It's about opening relationships built on trust and mutual respect. This approach not only drives higher sales, but also fosters stronger, long-term customer relationships. And that, my friends, is the real secret to making a ton of money.